Hey, hey, Sunday, December 9th, and we are getting our first snowfall of the season. Uh, and yeah, I'm not ready for it. Uh, it started out about five days ago. There was a chance of a frozen mix, rain, sleet, who knows. And every day that forecast changed. And then towards the end, as we were getting closer to today, it looked like it was going to be all rain and then when I got up this morning the forecast had changed to one to three inches of snow but I had put my uh, salt spreader on the truck yesterday so I was uh, ready with that so uh, by eight o'clock this morning we did get a phone call to say uh, they were going to send us out to spread salt at two o'clock this afternoon so it's not, it doesn't look like we will need plows on tractors. Uh, I hope not because I don't have them on there. As I said, I do have the salt spreader on the truck. I'm uh, about to put the uh, snow plow on there as well. Got a little, uh, few minor adjustments to do and then we will be ready to go. Just in case I have pulled the uh, frames out of the weeds, brought them up here to the shop. So in the event that this does turn into a heavier snow, uh, we've got them up here near the shop. It will not take us too long to get them mounted on the tractors and, uh, and get moving. But as I said, it doesn't look like that's going to happen this go round. It just started snowing about uh, 25 or 30 minutes ago and it is already accumulating on the ground. The temperature is about 34 degrees, I guess. Uh, expected to stay in the mid 30s today snow ending uh, sometime this evening so we'll see what happens uh, with this i'll see what kind of footage i can get for you so stay tuned oh boy long time no see uh let me see if i can give you an update on uh, what has been happening i'll try to make this quick we finally finished cutting soybeans. You know, back in uh, September, October, I was telling people, um, a, a little kidding aside at the time, that, you know, this was going to be one of those years we would be cutting soybeans on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, I remember my father doing that many years ago, and of course my mother would be a little upset that my father would not be sitting down at the Thanksgiving table to have this great meal she had prepared but it had been 25 or 30 years since that had happened but based on the the weather we had been having this year I was kind of predicting that well sure enough Thanksgiving Day we had some uh, great weather and uh, I still had uh, what did I have I still had about 75 80 acres of soybeans in the field so I had to cut soybeans Thanksgiving Day and it was still wet. I still had um, probably four or five acres with six inches of water laying in the field. Surprisingly, I was able to get through. They were nice looking soybeans uh, standing about uh, three or four foot tall. So I just ran the header, you know, right above that water, got those soybeans out. Well, that's what happens when you uh, don't record any video for a while. The battery is dead on the GoPro, so I got cut off in the middle of what I was saying. Uh, I think I was talking about cutting uh, soybeans on Thanksgiving Day and uh, all of the water that we had there. Uh, so we did cut a couple of days, um, got the soybeans knocked down to about 10 acres left. And of course it rained more after Thanksgiving, so it was not until... Um, last Thursday, December 6th, before uh, we finished cutting soybeans here. Woohoo! Finally finished cutting soybeans! <coughs> Yippee! December 6th, I am done. Time to partay! Yeah! Deba 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 that's all, folks! <coughs> And then on Sunday, December 9th, uh, that was two days ago, uh, we got some of that snow. Uh, going into this uh, all week long, uh, leading up to the snow, the forecast was 
just bouncing all over the place from rain to sleet to maybe a frozen mix, a little bit of snow. Uh, so I thought if nothing else, maybe we would get some time uh, with salt spreaders, uh, spreading some salt on the roads just because of what the forecast had looked like. So on Saturday, I did put the uh, salt spreader in the plow. Uh, yeah, that, that. That, that was that was a little bit odd uh, it's hard to do looking behind me like that I did put the salt spreader and the plow on the truck um, with a slight chance that maybe we would go out and spread salt uh, woke up Sunday morning the forecast had changed completely we were looking at all snow one to three inches by uh, Sunday evening. Um, Sunday morning it was not doing anything. Uh, one of my uh, other guys that uh, is on our crew, we kind of work together with the county highways on this end of the county, sent a text message to him. I said, uh, hey, I just got a call from county highways. They want us to go out uh, this afternoon at two o'clock and start putting salt down. And I knew one of his spreaders uh, was down. He was still waiting on bearings to put it all together. Um, so he gave me the thumbs up and said, okay, we'll be ready. So two o'clock we headed out and um, spread some salt on the roads. But let me, let me back up. Going back to last Thursday, we did finish the last 10 acres of soybeans, finally got those out. Uh, we did have some guys around here cutting up until Saturday. I think, I believe all soybeans are out now in the county. Uh, I think most of them finished up this past Saturday. At least I saw my neighbor uh, and I think he finished this past Saturday. Uh, good thing, snow on, snow on Sunday. Back to Sunday in the snow. Uh, so by the time Two o'clock rolled around, we probably had about an inch of snow on the ground. Started snowing about noon on Sunday. And it was coming down pretty good temperature, right around 32 degrees. So it started uh, sticking immediately. And uh, so we were all out uh, just spreading salt on the roads. It was not enough to plow. Well, about five o'clock, we had about three to four inches of snow on the ground. Our forecast had changed that we were now under a winter storm warning uh, with a possibility up to six inches of snow. So we went to from rain and sleet and a frozen mix to six inches of snow in, in like two days. Uh, we are just in one of those areas. It is hard to predict. We're always right on that rain snow line. And uh, so they, they have a difficult time predicting that weather here for us. But uh, we worked until about midnight uh, plowing roads. In the end, they canceled schools anyway on uh, Monday morning. So, uh, so today, it is Tuesday. Uh, it's about 43 degrees. Uh, it's still not warm enough to wash everything, but I am washing the equipment, getting the salt off. Uh, I'm going to unhook the plow and the spreader from my truck. Uh, it doesn't look like we've got any snow in the forecast for the next week. I think temperatures are going to be warming. That is the update here. Uh, sorry, I haven't put anything more on for you. Just uh, haven't been in the mood to do it. So we'll see what happens. All right. See ya. See ya. <laughs>